now what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and start creating our application further now inside of source we're going to create a directory called pages pages nothing but a component so just a different name create it as home so import react from react and then import and then const home return home export default home okay and i'm going to go on into my app.js and i'm going to replace all of this and just include home for now and just import home from pages home okay so i've imported that on top and i've got that and now if i go okay i have to go back in development server cancel it which is Control c and go into the development server otherwise webpack won't be watching so now webpack is watching refresh there you go we've got home which is great now the thing is that we're going to be creating multiple routes uh, which means that we're going to be having navigation uh, etc and um, for that we should create a common component which will contain our header and footer etc so what we're going to do is create a directory called components and create another directory called layout and have index.js uh, I am too lazy <laughs> I'm just going to copy this and just change this to layout layout is going to need the header and the footer so we'll create a div inside of this I'm going to create another file and name it as header and again I'm to as we are lazy we're just going to copy paste and just change this name to header oops copy this paste it and it's going to be layout so this is going to be our header and I'm going to include that header here and then this will contain props and we're going to do object destructuring and then pull children out of it and then we'll do div and then I'm going to use children here okay uh, what we should also do is basically have the tailwind CSS so what I'm going to do is just save a little bit of time we're going to go to this repository and take the link for the tailwind and we're going to place that link inside of our index.html this is for to be able to use the this is the Syrian uh, URL so that we can use the Tailwind CSS, which is a utility for CSS. React app. Okay, so we've got Tailwind now. We can use Tailwind classes. Now back to our layout. Inside of this, I'm going to use some class names. Tailwind class names, which is max width screen and then margin auto and margin top 20. Okay. So what this is going to do is wherever you use layout, it's going to ensure that it's going to include header automatically. So you don't have to keep including that on each and every page. And then it's also going to include this div. And whatever you pass inside of layout, that will be available as children. So now if you go back into pages home, instead of returning just home, you can do layout like so. And it's already pulled that on top, which is great. Whatever you put inside of it, this is home page. It's going to be replaced with this children so now if you go back and check you can see this is home page so this is home page you're currently on the root which is home page you've got layout right so what does layout contain you've got div this div then it's got header 
So header contains this div and header, which is this. Then it contains this div. It's got some classes and then children. And children will be replaced by where this layout is used. That layout, layout is used here. So the content is this is home page and that's what's being rendered here. Okay, so hope you get it. Uh, if you are still not clear and if you need more help, more understanding, better understanding, I recommend to take my React course. Um, so if you go to courses, go to React and then go to React tutorial from beginner to advanced. This is going to give you basically everything in depth. Uh, knowledge about how to use react but this since this is more focused on PWA I'll be I won't be going in depth in the explanation okay for the basic react okay great so we've got layout so now what do we need we need the navigation and stuff right before we jump onto navigation we need the logo so I'm gonna go into my header put a div with an idea of logo inside of this we will place a logo for logo, we're going to install a package called SVG CLI. So I'm going to say npm install SVG CLI, save dev, and install this package. And then once it's installed, I'm going to create a directory called icons. And then inside of this, we'll place our SVGs. So we'll place all of our SVGs here. The reason why we're doing this is because um, if we use the package, which is this one. So I've placed a, a script here called SVGs GR hyphen D source components icons. It's going to take any of the SVGs from this directory, source components icons SVGs. It's going to output that in this directory, which is in the root of the icons as a React component. So generally, you know, when you install, you know that when you have SVGs, the format is not in JSX. Uh, so this package basically takes care of all of that and give, gives you that SVG component automatically. So you'll see that in action. So now I'm going to head over over here, go to source components, icons, SVGs. I'm going to download the Netflix SVG and I'll create a file called Netflix logo dot SVG. I'm going to paste it here. Okay. So this is my SVG and I'll show you the magic now. So if you go on to your terminal and if you do npm run SVG, you'll notice that it's actually outputted that over here as Netflix logo. And this is a react component now. Okay. And it's also exported that for you in the index. So now you can use this component Netflix logo. So all I have to do now is come back to a header, say Netflix logo, import that component, and that's it. So now if I go back, you can see that I've got Netflix logo, which is great. The next thing I'm going to do is basically add some styles. Uh, this tutorial is not for styles, so I'm not going to be writing styles in this tutorial. So all I'm going to do is just create a directory in source called styles, create another file called style.css and then come back. Um, Come back to my repository, go to source, styles, style.css, and just copy all this style. Okay, uh, so you've got some styles. Notice that I'm importing the go some Google fonts also. All right. And then I have to import this style since it's a global style that I'm using. I can just come back to my app.js and import styles, style.css. Okay, so now I'll have all of my styles applied. So now I've got some background color and I've got some you know, hover effect, etc. which is great.